It's a beauty day here in the Great White North. That's right, hosers, and it's about to get a whole bunch colder because we got a cooler full of dry ice. Woo! Yeah, baby. Look at that smoke coming off of those, eh? We are going to strip Connie right down to the bare, bare metal. So you guys are familiar with the sound deadening on the floor of a car like you can see here. Sort of that thin rubbery grey matte like material. It's glued to the sheet metal beneath and we're going to show you how to remove that using the famous dry ice method, aren't we? Yep, we gave it a shot. The internet says it works great and we're here to prove it or disprove it one way or another. Yeah, we've never tried this before so it's kind of a fun experiment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we'll see. It's. Uh... It's worth a shot. It's better than scraping because I've done the scraping method before. It ain't fun. Yeah, I've used an air scraper and it was punching holes in the floor, so don't want to do that to the old girl. Or oh, you can do the heat method, warm her up, and hope you don't set yourself a flame and uh, scrape her that way, and that's mucky and nasty. Yeah, so we're thinking this is the cleanest, fastest, best way to do it. And we're going to show you how, at least, we're going to try to. So what's step one here, Moose? Well, according to the network, what you want to do is you want to have a good surface area. So we've got these large cubes of dry ice, and they recommend that you break it down to like a powder. And then they also recommend adding some isopropyl alcohol. What this does is it doesn't freeze, and it allows better contact of the to penetrate down into the undercoating. Right. So, so it's all about surface area and getting the cold deep down, making the undercoating really rigid and stiff that you can basically snap and break it off. All right, let's mix up batch number one here. Yes. Moose is nothing if not violent enough to smash dry ice up. Oh, we got some science oh, here. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. Dr. Frankenstein in the house. I like it. You gonna huff some of that in, Moose, or what? Uh, I don't think so. Make the vapors online happy? <laughs> so, uh, you're adding a bit more alcohol? Yeah, a little bit more, and uh, see what happens here. Let's okay. put this in. Oh, man. <laughs> it's got a, uh, I'm gonna say it smells like rubbing alcohol, but that's exactly what it is, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thanks for purple alcohol. Let this sit on here, let it cool things down. You have to be, keep your hands protected because it's cold. Yeah, it's very dangerous to expose skin, so you gotta cover up. And uh, any idea how long we need to let it sit for, Moose? Uh, they didn't really say. Um, so we'll, uh, we're making some cracking noises. Yeah, he's already, he's eager to get the hammer in there already. I think we need to let it sit for a few minutes though. Yeah, I do believe you're correct. Let's see if you get any motion here. It's just an eager beaver, he wants to get in there. Damn straight. I'm gonna strip Connie. Poor Connie, you're stripped up naked already, but we're we're taking off your last bits of dignity here, girl. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's it sounds like an iceberg that's kind of cracking. That's science happening, kids. <laughs> Sublimation. Sublimation, as Moose says. Look it up. By the way, the dry ice wasn't especially expensive. I think we bought five. We bought ten pounds or thirty. No, it was about. We bought three. I think it was ten pounds per shovel. About thirty pounds. So we bought thirty pounds for twenty bucks. Yeah, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, we bought it from a place called Prax Air, but it's kind of like a industrial air supplier. So they supply airs and gases for industry. Right. It's where you go to get your welding gases. Where do you go and get like propane? Where you get all that sort of stuff? So. Right. Yeah. The pry bar out. He's getting serious. What it seems to be doing is it's making this uh, rubberized undercoating very stiff and very hard, and it's... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Connie moves. Come on, gentle. Be a gentle lover. You know, that is... You can see what's happening. You see it's, it's basically delaminated from the metal underneath. Yeah. It's pretty effective. Much easier than the old method. Yeah. The internet was right. I hate that when that happens. Oh, this is. I'm loving this. It's coming up clean, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Look, you can see underneath. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's about as good as it gets. That's beautiful. Oh, Connie, you're gonna be so pretty once we give you a coat of paint and maybe a half roll cage and some vintage racing buckets and a badass Momo steering wheel. You're gonna have it all, girl. 
we just heard a big snap crack and pop here. Like it, the whole area just kind of separated from the floor. So we're gonna see if it's just gonna pop right off. Wow, look at that. One, One piece. giant piece. Well, that's pretty good proof that the dry ice method really does work. So here's the leftover sound deadening from the driver's side so far, and you can see it's quite a, a thick material, and it's quite stiff too. We'll have to weigh all this one once we're done and see how much weight we've taken out of the car. Because really, we're all about weight savings here, right? Or not. We'll say it's weight saving. It sounds sure. cooler. Yeah, race car stuff. How goes the dry icing, sir? I'm loving it. Everything's coming off. The nice big sheets. The only challenge we're going to have is the vertical surfaces holding the ice up against it. To figure that one out, but I'm going to concentrate mostly on the flat surface, get the bulk of it done, and then we'll kind of see how things go and. Doing some recycling as we yep. move the dry ice around. I think that back patch is ready to go. Oh wow. I don't think it matters how many times I say gentle moose, you just get you just get there. <laughs> He's only got one speed, but full moose. That's how the ladies like it. <laughs> well we're halfway through and our pile of sound editing material has grown. I think we're gonna easily take 20 pounds out of the car with this, so it'll be interesting to see. In our continuing series of what are these, internet? We found this strange thing in the trunk floor, or trunk floor, the rear seat floor. It's a little metal plate. Plate. It's sitting on a little divot, which has is being held in place, and I have no clue what the floor. So, last time you responded with great vigor as to what the little flappy venti things were. Yeah. So, internet, what are these little metal thingies here? The delicate science of Moose making his dry ice secret formula. What's your formula here, Moose? It's like uh, 10 Wizardry. parts dry ice, <laughs> one part icy propylene or whatever that's called. And a whole bunch of magic. A whole bunch of magic. Yeah. I'll give you 20 bucks if you dip your face in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of snap, crackle, and pop going on now, Moose. Yeah, purrs. I will never get tired of the smoke that comes off this stuff. I'm easily amused. Yes, you are. That's why I chose you as a friend. Just the cold. Yep. Transmitted all the way through. It's brittle and cold like your ex-girlfriend, Moose. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Connie is officially buck naked. Nice and pink inside. All fleshy underneath that dirty looking undercoat, or what was it, a sound deadening? Anyway, pretty fresh and clean in here now. A little shop back action and you're good to go. Moose gets to have all the fun and I've got to clean up after him. Damn straight. Well, Moose, that's it, and we are left with this big smoldering pile of uh, undercoating schmegma and a little bit of dry ice. We used probably at the 30 pounds, what, 25 pounds? Yeah. So that's less than $20 of dry ice, and it took us, what, maybe an hour to do? About that, and by comparison, I stripped the undercoating off an S2000 
a build we did a couple years ago, and that probably took me 30 hours. 30 hours? With the old scrape and blowtorch and... Heat gun and scrape, yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. Buy yourself some dry ice, it's cheap, it's super easy, and it's kind of fun. We're doing science here, kids. We're doing yeah. science. It is a bit dangerous science for bare hands, but it is science. Yeah, what did you were saying that goes to a minus 109 Celsius? Something like minus 109 Celsius is what the surface temperature is. So uh, don't touch it to your genitals like I'm about to do. But we also bragged about how we were going to weigh this stuff and tell you how much it weighs. I don't have a scale. It's in the shop. We'll weigh it next time. We'll weigh it next time. You guys can tell us what you think it weighs and maybe we'll give you a real number. We're thinking 30, 40 pounds. Something like that. It's a lot of, a lot of material. It is. It's pretty thick and heavy. So uh, good weight savings. Cleans up the interior. Gets it ready to weld stuff in. Put in fancy race seats and stuff. So we're moving along and in the next episode, We'll finally make a love match between Beamsy and Connie. We're gonna meet those two together. So we got some real mechanical upgrades coming your way shortly. That is the power of dry ice. That is 109 negative degrees. 109 negative? That's like my IQ, Moose. <laughs> it is. So you should oh, you should have been at one with the dry ice. Thing. I felt kindred with that dry ice. Did you? That's good. So that was your science, very cold. That's just why you don't really touch stuff like this. Even it looks quite innocent and lovely. This is Moose the science guy, everyone. <laughs> He's Bill Nye's large, sweaty cousin. Damn straight. You hear the banjos, kids? <laughs> Hold the phone, everybody. I found the bathroom scale. And the survey says 40 pounds. Not bad. That's 40 pounds less of skanky sound deadening out of Connie. She's been put on a pretty solid, slim, fast diet, but soon we're gonna beef her up with a whole bunch of go fast goodies.